many kings that we have, we're never going to be able to study because we're only able to excavate this particular king because he wasn't buried in state, he was buried in an old church which is now under a car park and so when we excavated the car park we were able to recover his body. But we're not going to be able to go back and look at him on a regular basis so we need to get as much as we can done now. Uh, just making sure that we're going to get you, yeah, really thin cuts. There are many different causes for scoliosis and what we want to do is find out how did Richard's scoliosis start, what age did it start and what type of scoliosis did he have how would that have impacted his life? Would it have caused him back pain or not? Would it have affected his exercise tolerance? Would it have made him weak or tired earlier? Would it have made him walk with a limp? All these things are important things to investigate and we're well down the line to uh, making decisions on most of those areas. Roundworm is spread by the contamination of hands in those preparing food with faeces. So if you went to the toilet and didn't wash properly, and also by using human faeces as a fertiliser on crops, which is a common thing to do in the past to increase the production of your fields. And so it's a faecal oral parasite. And uh, it's often acquired in childhood and then repeated reinfections, both from yourself and from other people who are feeding you, could result in infections throughout your life. A roundworm would have no impact on his spinal deformity or on his robusticity because as a noble he would have had a good diet and so he would have had plenty of food for his own nutrition even after the roundworms have taken what they needed from his intestines.